Welcome to TPM Vids, where we talk all about theme parks and more. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. The Universal Orlando Resort brings so many stories and characters from pop culture right to life in two theme parks. Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure offer a wide variety of rides for the entire family, especially the thrill seekers. You can fly over the Forbidden Forest in a motorbike as you twist and turn while racing a velociraptor, catapult out of a gamma chamber, then cool off with a splash. These theme parks are jam-packed with thrilling adventures around every corner. Now there are many that simulate fast motion, but have you ever wondered which rides are actually the fastest? Well sit back, because today in order of speed, we're going to be counting down the top 10 fastest rides at the Universal Orlando Resort. Number 10. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley opened at Universal Studios Florida in July of 2014. A fire-breathing dragon is perched on top of the Gringotts Bank, which is where you can find Diagon Alley's main attraction, Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. First and foremost, this ride is a roller coaster, but it's really a dark ride at heart, which combines physical sets and 3D screens. Escape from Gringotts uses a unique ride system that allows the coaster trains to rotate 360 degrees. And although it is described as being a high-speed roller coaster ride with sudden and dramatic acceleration, it's definitely more on the tame side. Universal has remained fairly tight-lipped on how fast this coaster actually travels, but after the first show scene with Bellatrix, your train tilts about 40 degrees and you're sent speeding down a 30-foot drop. It's estimated to reach top speeds of approximately 25 miles or 40 kilometers an hour. The rest of the ride is a slower-paced dark ride, but there is one last moment of acceleration at the end. If you're not a fan of coasters but can handle Transformers or Spider-Man, you can definitely handle this. Plus, there is so much to see even before you get on the ride, including a trip in the elevator to the vaults. Escape from Gringotts does have a single rider line, and every rider should be prepared to store all bags in a free locker to the right of the entrance before entering the queue. With a ride time of 5 minutes, it's a thrilling, immersive journey through the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Number 9. Staying in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, Hogsmeade in Islands of Adventure is where you can find Flight of the Hippogriff. The ride originally opened in June of 2000 as the Flying Unicorn. It was closed in 2008 and reopened in June of 2010, rethemed to the wizarding world. The majestical hippogriff bows to riders as the train proceeds up the lift hill. Before you know it, you'll find yourself on a test flight of a hippogriff as you soar over the Forbidden Forest and Hagrid's Hut. Now this is a Vacoma Junior coaster, and although it looks tame, don't underestimate it. For its size, it's pretty thrilling, reaching top speeds of up to 28.5 miles or 45.9 kilometers per hour. The entire ride lasts 1 minute and 6 seconds, and with a sizable drop, plus many twists and turns, it's a fun one, especially for the younger ones in the group. Number 8. Staying at Islands of Adventure, Marvel Superhero Island is where you can find Doctor Doom's Fear Fall. It's pretty hard to miss these 200-foot towers peeking out of the park's skyline, but the ride really comes alive at night. Doctor Doom's Fear Fall opened with the park in May of 1999, and it'll definitely make you scream. Once you're secured in your seat and the restraints are locked, the anticipation builds as the Doombot prepares for the launch. In the blink of an eye, you rocket 185 feet in the air, reaching 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour. Both towers offer the same ride experience, and it may not look too intense, but when you're on the ride, you really feel the G-force on the initial launch. The rest of the ride is much more tame as you bounce up and down at small intervals, slowly making your descent back to the loading platform. From start to finish, the ride lasts about 1 minute and 30 seconds, and it's an exhilarating one. Number 7 Heading up the path into Toon Lagoon, 
Dudley do Right's Ripsaw Falls is the first water ride on the list. It opened with Islands of Adventure in May of 1999 and is based off the Dudley do Right cartoons. Now it's not a matter of if you'll get wet, but more so how wet you'll get, because it is impossible to come off this ride dry. Once you're seated in your log, the adventure begins through this wacky cartoon world. The indoor and outdoor show scenes tease you with water along the way to prepare you for the big drop. As you crest the edge, get ready to plunge down 75 feet, reaching top speeds of up to 45 miles or 72 kilometers per hour. As you travel down the drop, you're pretty much on a roller coaster. The log travels on a coaster track until it sends you back into the water at the very bottom for that white water splash. Be prepared to get drenched. Dudley do Right Ripsaw Falls has a ride time of 5 minutes and 30 seconds, making it one of the longer rides on the list. For those hot Florida days, it's a perfect way to cool down while you're at Universal Studios. Number 6 Traveling back to Universal Studios Florida, Revenge of the Mummy can be found in the New York section of the park. The ride opened in May of 2004, and it's an enclosed steel roller coaster and dark ride hybrid that has thrill written all over it. As you make your way through the queue, you find yourself in an archaeological dig site inside an Egyptian tomb. Once you board your minecarts, the ride starts off as a pretty tame dark ride, but then takes a turn. Before you know it, you're sent backwards, then launched forward, reaching top speeds of up to 45 miles or 72 kilometers per hour. The Mummy is a thrilling ride through the dark and feels a lot faster than it actually is. There are tons of unexpected twists and turns, smoke effects, and even a ceiling of flames. It gets toasty. The ride also has a single rider line, but all riders should be prepared to store bags and loose articles in a free locker before you enter the queue. Revenge of the Mummy is scary, dark, and really delivers on that thrill factor. Number 5 Heading back into Hogsmeade at Islands of Adventure, the newest Harry Potter ride is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. This Intamin launch coaster opened in June of 2019 and utilizes not one, but seven different launches at varying speeds. It's ranked as the coaster with the most launches in the world. Now once you're seated in your motorbike or sidecar, get ready for the most thrilling and magical journey through the Forbidden Forest. The ride begins with a launch that reaches 20 miles or 32 kilometers per hour. Right, off you go! And that's just the start. From animatronics to physical sets, there are surprises around every corner. Like here, you pass through this tunnel, then rise up a 65 foot tall and 70 degree vertical spike. And what goes up must come down. Just as the adrenaline's rushing, you're launched backwards into the darkest part of the Forbidden Forest and dropped 17 feet into a cave. Then the final launch takes you from 0 to 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour in just 4 seconds. It's a very smooth ride and it's a lot of fun. The entire experience really lives up to the story coaster name. And it's all tied together with an amazing soundtrack and narration by Hagrid himself. You will need to store your bags and loose articles in a free locker located to the right of the entrance. And this ride also has a single rider line. With a ride time of just over 3 minutes, Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure is everything you can imagine, plus so much more. You'll want to ride this one over and over again. Number 4 Staying at Islands of Adventure, Jurassic Park brings you face to face with prehistoric dinosaurs on Jurassic Park River Adventure. This was another opening day attraction at the park and it's definitely a universal classic. After boarding your raft, you embark on a water cruise exploring the iconic world of Jurassic Park. These lush landscapes and animatronic dinosaurs create a serene environment. But things take a turn once the raft enters the raptor containment area. It's here where you head up the lift hill and into the water treatment plant. You soon realize there's only one way out. Before you know it, you'll be heading down an 85 foot drop at a 60 degree angle, reaching top speeds of up to 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour. 
It's quite the white water splash. Now be prepared to get wet, but unless you're sitting in the front row, you probably won't get soaked. Jurassic Park River Adventure has the longest ride time on the list at 6 minutes and 30 seconds, and it also offers a single rider line. Number 3 Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket is the next ride on the list, which can be found in the production central area of Universal Studios. The coaster opened in August of 2009 and takes you 90 degrees up the 167-foot lift hill. As you descend down the drop, you'll reach top speeds of up to 65 miles or 105 kilometers per hour, making your way through the non-inverting loop. Even though you never actually go upside down on this coaster, you'll find yourself twisting and turning through the rest of the track with a few smaller drops on the way. It might not be the smoothest ride, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Plus, each rider gets to choose which song they want to hear during the ride. Now before entering the queue, you will pass through metal detectors, so everything you're carrying with you needs to be checked into a free locker before riding. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket does have a single rider line, and with a ride time of 1 minute and 45 seconds, it's nothing short of a thrilling experience the entire way through. Number 2 It's hard to miss the Incredible Hulk coaster over in Marvel Superhero Island. This B&M coaster was another opening day ride, but in 2016, Universal gave the coaster a complete facelift. This included a brand new track and new ride vehicles. Fun fact, the ride's marquee actually uses pieces of the old track. Now, once you're secured in your ride vehicle, prepare to enter the Gamma Bombardment Chamber. As the Hulk's roar rumbles through the chamber, get ready to be launched at 40 miles or 64 kilometers per hour in just two seconds. Then you'll find yourself reaching a top speed of up to 67 miles or 108 kilometers per hour. With its seven inversions including a zero-g roll and two vertical loops, this coaster is intense. The ride vehicles are equipped with an onboard soundtrack, which definitely heightens the whole experience. Before entering the queue, you will pass through metal detectors, so everything you're carrying with you needs to be checked into a free locker before riding. With a ride time of 1 minute and 15 seconds, this is an exhilarating, adrenaline-pumping coaster that never disappoints. Number 1 The fastest ride at the Universal Orlando Resort is Jurassic World Velocicoaster, which opened on June 10th, 2021. With the extreme airtime mixed with high speeds and four inversions, this Intamin launch coaster is a thrill-seeker's dream. The 155-foot top hat definitely looks thrilling, but there are even more intense moments tucked away on this race alongside the Raptors. As soon as you leave the load station, the train accelerates from 0 to 50 miles or 80 kilometers per hour in just two seconds. Now you're on a race through the jungle, encountering raptors as you cross over and under the coaster track. And the ride doesn't slow down here. The second launch takes you from 40 to 70 miles or 113 kilometers per hour in just 2.4 seconds, giving the train enough momentum to make it up the top hat. Now talk about some amazing airtime. Then as you plummet 140 feet racing around the Discovery Center, get ready for the two best inversions, the long zero-g stall and the iconic barrel roll along the lake. This coaster doesn't have a brake run until the very end of the ride, so for an entire minute and a half, there is constant acceleration. It's such an amazing ride. Velocicoaster does have a single rider line, and all riders are required to put any loose items and bags into a free locker located in the queue. Velocicoaster takes thrill to a whole new level, and you don't want to miss it on your next trip to Universal Orlando Resort. So in your opinion, what's the best thrill ride at Universal Studios? How many of these rides have you been on? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.